Hello, friends, this is our pod. I'm here today to tell you about diet, weight loss and exercise. Come on people, it's not rocket surgery or brain science. See diet is like a math equation. Food goes and food goes out. If you burn more calories than you eat then you'll lose weight. Some foods actually take more calories to process than they contain like celery. It takes more energy to digest celery than is in the celery. So if you eat celery all day long you will slowly starve. If you sprinkle crystal meth on your salad you'll really burn some extra calories. Of course my doctor said that may have some negative side effects. But what does that joker know? He still drives an American car and uses a mad crazy man. What is next? Is he going to bleed me or bring out the leeches? Other foods just don't stay with you very long. Like prunes, they're high in calories but they can give you a movement if you eat too many. In fact, if you drink two glasses of prune juice you'll have more movements than a symphony by Mozart. It's also important to know what calories count and which do not. For example, did you know that calories consumed on the weekends don't count? It's true. Also alcohol calories don't count. Out of town calories don't count. Vacation calories don't count. Um, calories for cows don't count, calories from hot foods don't count and calories from salty things don't count, mom's cooking doesn't count, church picnic foods don't count, food on the road doesn't count, and food eaten while swimming doesn't count. See how easy this is. I guess the key is balance and moderation. I like to take moderation to new extremes. I am actually more moderate than anyone I know. Diet and exercise are the two pillars of healthy weight loss. The fitness craze has become quite a movement. Speaking of movements, I had one last night so I guess I am doing, okay. Until next time, I remain your humble servant, Zarbod. Zarbod is cool.